This is Seven National News and in our top story. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed al Nakyan, the ruler's representative in the Western region and president of the Emirates Red Crescent Authority, has given instructions to the ERC to provide 5 million dirhams in emergency relief aid for refugees in the Lebanese border town of Arsol. Recent developments have displaced tens of thousands of people to neighboring villages and towns already congested with Syrian refugees. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan noted that the area already hosts around 120,000 Syrian refugees who at the ERC have been providing aid to, including food and healthcare supplies, as well as shelters. He further noted that the ERC has doubled its relief campaigns, efforts and in-kind aid for many hotspots around the world. This latest allocation of 5 million dirhams is the first humanitarian effort to help those refugees and is in line with the ERC's mission to remain at the forefront of agencies offering humanitarian assistance to conflict and disaster zones, including the Gaza Strip. The General Directorate of Residency and Foreign Affairs in Dubai has announced a 30% increase in the number of residence visas issued in Dubai during the first half of the year, as compared with the same period in 2013. Major General Mohammed al Mari, the Director General of the GDRFA Dubai, was quoted as saying that there were 570,917 new residency visas issued in the first half of the year, up from 436,993 that were issued in 2013. He added that the country has also seen an 8.14% increase in passengers entering and exiting the UAE, reflecting the growth in the country's economy and tourism sector. Along with the announcement, Al Mari also revealed that the GDRFA Dubai has completed the first stage of smart services that has seen the launch of 28 services for visitors, residents and companies. He added that 30 more smart services will be launched in the second stage so that government services are available on smartphones and tablets around the clock anywhere. The GDRFA at Dubai is looking to enlist half a million people annually for its smart services applications over the next six years. Dubai Municipality's online services will be temporarily disconnected tomorrow due to maintenance work. According to a media statement, the municipality revealed that the affected services will go offline from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. These include e-services for the revenue system, the new building's licensing system and the Dubai Municipality portal www.dm.gov.ae. Emirates is operating extra flights to Saudi Arabia for Hajj pilgrims, which are set to start on the 28th of August this year. The airline is operating extra flights to Jeddah and Medina in order to accommodate the extra groups, which will be four-digit flight numbers prefixed with the number two. All flights will also arrive and depart at the dedicated Hajj terminal. According to an Emirates statement, the last date for non-Saudi GCC nationals to enter Jeddah and Medina will be on the 28th of September, as well as for non-GCC nationals. Departure out of Jeddah and Medina will start on the 7th of October and the last day for Hajj departure will be on the 9th of November. The statement also revealed that the Saudi government has imposed strict rules and regulations for better control due to the large numbers, some of which state that all Hajj pilgrim passengers, apart from GCC nationals, must hold a Hajj visa, as well as a round-trip confirmed reservation or ticket, while non-Muslim passengers holding business visas, including GCC nationals, not travelling for Hajj, must be booked on normal scheduled flights. Motorists driving out of Abu Dhabi are being advised to use alternate service stations as three Adnox stations have been closed for upgrades. Drivers are being advised to use Adnox Al Itiad and Airwing service stations on Murrah Street as their Zafrana fuel station has been closed for upgrades. 
Fuel stations in Al Samra 1 and Al Mushrif will also remain shut for the next four months. Motorists heading from Zayed Sports City towards the Corniche and using Al Mushrif service station are advised to use the Al Manasir station, while those travelling from the Corniche towards Al Masafa are to use the Al, Al Khalij Al Arabi service station. Additionally, those driving towards Abu Dhabi via Mura Road could use the Police College Station and Al Dana Station. And finally, looking to other news now, it was an intense contest between the top people behind the scenes of Nando's when they took to the grill to be crowned best grillers in the UAE and qualify for the international competition. A total of eight finalists took part in the penultimate round of Nando's National Grillers Challenge, where within 10 minutes, the contestants prepared peri-peri grilled chicken, which was then assessed by a panel of independent judges. With their supervisors overlooking the entire process, it certainly was a battle of nerves to ensure that the food was prepared to the right standards. It was Christian J. Coma who secured the top spot, followed by his colleague from the same branch over in the Greens, Madakar Pimitan. After being crowned winner and runner-up of the competition, they are now set to fly off to London to represent the UAE at the International Grillers Competition, where they will compete against the best Nando's grillers from around the world. According to organisers, taking part in the competition encourages their employees to perform to their very best and with the hope of being named as Nando's Master Griller. I feel nervous and then uh, very, very nervous. And then uh, I do what I do. Then I give all my best. I'm not expecting that I'm selecting for the second, uh, first, second place. And I never expect also. And I'm very happy that my chicken is not broken and I don't, I never very surprised her. I'm selecting the one. I feel too much nervous, sir, because this is the final now. For the first, I never, but this is the final, very, uh, well, I'm uh, laughing only, so my nervous is not go out, sir. That's it. Yeah, internally, I mean, we finding our best griller in the UAE. So it's finding, you know, the person with the most skills and then getting them to then teach our other guys so they will get a master griller at the end of this and they'll be doing, they'll be very involved with the training of all our new staff coming in. So it also helps with the consistency of the product uh, in all our restaurants in the UAE. They assessed from everything, from, um, you know, hygiene, the way that they prepare the food, um, the way that they're actually grilling it on the on the grill, they, they look for the, the grill marks and you know the colour of the chicken and obviously the taste. I mean that's the most important. So taste and the juiciness and um, once again the consistency of how it's grilled. Um, so it, it's just all the elements that make it a delicious product.